Back to pace, draw a play up the middle. Moss, 5, 10, 15, 20, all the way to the 50 and across the 50. To the 49, Charles Moss. Wren all the way to the 49. He may be hurt. He looked like he got tangled up where his back got bent out of place, Tommy, and it stretched it maybe. You could see him get folded up. Charles Moss, the senior, ran that football tear how far? Bruce from the 11 and 27 all the way down to the beach 49. That's 24 yards in a first down. Moss still down on the field, Tommy. We're going to take a break here as they attend to Charles Moss. We'll be back in just a moment. Hi, I'm Heather Sewell. And I'm Floyd Siobhan. And we're here at Burfitt Ford with Mr. Wendell Pugh to make a small presentation. On behalf of the Blue Devil Booster Club, LHS cheerleaders, coaches, players, and fans, we would like to thank you for your support. We present to you the Souvenir Stadium Kitchen as a token of our appreciation. Well, thank you very much. Just want to say good luck for a successful season for the Lebanon Blue Devils. Thank you. Charles Moss rambles 24 yards and a first down. We're down on the 49. We're in the second quarter and it's 9.48 and there's no score. Lebanon and Beach. Beach has won two district games. They won one last week. Lebanon sends Moss or sends Mo wide to the right and take the ball. Hot pass, all oh, the middle incomplete. Chavez trying to hang on on the 38 and couldn't. Incomplete second down and 10 to go. While Greg has misfired a couple of times, Bruce, that looked like one Chavez should have corralled, and that would have been uh, that would have been a good gain for the Blue Devils as he was running wide open in that secondary. Ball is on the 49. We were trying to hit out of that flex tight end is flexed out about six yards from the tackle readers wide to the right thompson's wide to the left option play pitch it back to sellers sellers five fell down sellers was trying to cut and fell down across to 45 he was going to get a first down slipped on the turf or on the grass and fell down on the 43 and we're third down and four Maybe three and a half. Sellers got about seven out of that. Six and a half. Lebanon driving here on beats. Need a first down. We're third down and we'll say three and a half. We're on the 43 of Beach. Reader wide to the right. Eye set. Thompson's wide to the left. Take the ball. Sweep. That's Sellers trying to get outside. Cuts it in. He spins. He turns. He didn't get a first down, but he got to the 40 and barely got inside. He's a yard short, I think. They'll spot it right on the 40. We've got to go to the 38 and a half. We need a yard and a half. We may go for it. This is the situation, middle of the field. Our defense has played well against the run. We have not played well against the pass. The short yardage offense now in the game. Steve Rose and Cantrell, the two fullbacks. Jade Sellers dots the eye. Power eye right. Lemon needs a first. Need a yard and a half, maybe two. Take the ball and they run Rose and he got it, I think. Depends on the spot. I think he barely got it as he got to the 37. I think it's a first down. Referee says, give it to him. First down, Blue Devils. Ball's on the 37 and a half. We'll say 38. John, have you had a chance to update the condition of senior tailback Charles Moss? Tommy, I talked to Charlie. He said uh, somebody came in from the right side and hit him on the side of the knee. Said it's just real sore, and uh, he probably uh, won't play any more this game because of the uh, playoffs in the future, but uh, he's going to be okay. Lebanon out of the huddle, first down. They went for it on four, tripped it, takes it, runs Sellers, and they shot somebody through and knocked him down. Sellers got back to the line of scrimmage, second down and 10. They shot a tackle or a linebacker and knock us down. We didn't get anything. Second and 10. Cantrell checks in with a play. And we're on the 38-yard line in Beach territory, and there's 7.33 and a half. And Lebanon and Beach are scoreless. I set. Flex. Back to pass. Trip it. Looks wide open. Incomplete. Overshot Raider somewhere around the 32 or 3. We're third down and 10. He was trying to hit Reeder and missed him down on about the 32 or three yard line. Just off the fingertips of junior receiver Jason Reeder, 
leader on the season, 17 catches, 137 yards, averaging eight yards per catch. Steve Rose checks back into the game for the Blue Devils with the play. Out goes Tony Cantrell. Lebanon on the 38, and it's third down and 10, 720 and a half. No score, Lebanon and Beach. Triplet, long count, takes the ball, fakes the draw, and sprints out and hits Rose. Rose, 35, 31-yard line. Fourth down. Now we got to go for it, or we will go for it, because we did well ago. We need about three yards. Rose, I think that was Triplett's first completion, right, Terry? That's right, Bruce. He's now one of seven. He hits Rose for an eight-yard pickup. It's going to be fourth down on Beach's 30-yard line. Ball is spotted on a 30. We've got to go to around the 27 and a half. We need two and a half power hour All right. Beach stacks them up in there. Take it, and they run Sellers, and I don't think he got it. He didn't get it. They've already pointed for Beach. He got to the 29 or 28 and a half. That's it. Beach has stopped us. Bruce, there's a flag on the play. The officials pointing at Lebanon. Let's see what that preliminary indication is. Unsportsmanlike against the Blue Devils. And John, John, see if you can get close enough to see what the uh, see what the penalty was against Lebanon. They called the penalty against Jade Sellers, number 20, and uh, Steve Rose came off the field saying he did nothing whatsoever. He, uh, Sellers a little hyperactive anyway. He made some type of uh, maybe a gesture with his hand motion, maybe even mad at himself, but uh, uh, evidently no no cause for a penalty from, uh, from our viewpoint. Anyway, it's 15 yards, and it's up on the 44, and... We're 640 to play in a half, and there's no score, and now that official's waving timeout again. Coach Mark Medley is halfway out to the field trying to get what has happened. The officials huddle in the pile there in the middle and discuss it. Well, right now, Tommy, we don't know exactly what's going on. Uh, we're going to uh, try to get an explanation here in a moment. If you want to bring it back down here in a minute, uh, I'll try to fill you in on it. Terry, have you got the names of this officiating crew somewhere in that, uh, in that jacket of yours? Here are the officials tonight. Harvey Baird, the referee. Dan Beatty, the umpire. Headlinesman Vic Francescan. Head Steve Chauncey. Back judge is Greg Thomas. Electric clock operator is Johnny Ambrose. And we'll... We'll get back with John in just a moment for an explanation. The Lebanon crowd is trying to stand and get us in the game. First down and 10, and they're running up the middle, and they got good yardage, and they got five, and they got a first down, and they crossed the 45 and went all the way to our 43. They just ran it right up the middle. There's a flag on the play. Coach Mark Medley halfway out on the field. Flags on the play. Somebody really uncorked. I think Kevin Hasty. That may be a personal foul against Beach. We're gonna. I think they throw number 76 out of this football game, ladies and gentlemen. He, I think, slugged Kevin Hasty. The officials, you are letting this game get out of hand. John, and when you said Francisco, Tommy, that's the guy that we had. John, best in the we playoff. can tell from down here is that uh, the official had a question after the call was made. Coach prompted Coach Medley to go out to have a discussion with him. Hadn't been able to get a word in edge, edgewise yet with Coach Medley. Uh, right there was a personal foul against the um, beach team. So um, that's going to cost them 15 yards. And uh, evidently, Hasty got uh, either punched in the eye or kicked in the eye. And we're not sure at this time. Back up to you. I think Langford of Hendersonville got th thrown out of the ball game. We'll have to check it. The referees are spending a lot of time huddling up. Now they're going to mark this 15-yard penalty off. Well, it's five yards, isn't it? Is that only a five-yard penalty for slugging? Man. Well, now they're going to discuss this with Mark Medley. This has been not one of your greatest call football games in the history. 
the officials go to the sideline. Francisco has been around a long time, maybe too long. Football could have passed him by. He's still coming from the sideline as both teams have broken the huddle. So <laughs> he, he's wanting to make sure his crew is straightened out. And they may be the only ones right now. Well, the umpire's talking to our players and the referee's talking to Medley and we're just standing up here talking to ourselves. Let's see if, uh, if John's got anything to add to this conversation. John, have you got anything to add to this? I don't even believe our coaches know, Tommy. They're, uh, they have told us to stay off the field now or we will get another flag. So uh, we're looking. We thought it would be a first and 25 rather than a first and 15. But, uh, but who knows? I think the officials are confused. Well, Francisco is the head linesman over there. And, man, did we really have trouble with him in shovelable. That's a 15-yard penalty, personal foul. 76 has been thrown out of the football game, but it's only a five-yard penalty. Now they're, man, this gets disgusting when they sit around and huddle up and talk. They don't know, uh, well, we don't know what they're talking about. I guess they do. What are they going to do now? Penalize us 15 yards? What has happened now? John Bryant or Tommy go to John. They're penalizing us. John, can you pick it up and see what's happening? It looks like the mark off's against us now. No, they're they're going to try to spot it from the point of the uh, where the ball was downed at. So uh, I think they're just uh, well. guessing as they go now. So they're going to bring the uh, they're going to set the ball, leave the ball where it is. And uh, they're going to spot the ball on the 40-yard line where it is, so it will be a first and uh, 25. Back up to you. No, John, you're wrong. It's first and 10. They're going to take the football and carry Well, I don't know. If you're confused and it's Saturday morning and you just got up, just think how we feel on Friday night. Bruce, that's pretty accurate right here. What happened? He ran to the 43. Actually, they forgot it. Slotted on the 41. Then the 15-yard unsportsmanlike conduct would bring it back. So I think they're pretty accurate. They're saying first and 25. Now, it should have been actually two yards further back, but that, we'll take that. That's a pretty good spot. So yeah. I guess through all they've gone through in this nearly five minutes of dragging this out, we, we finally got the situation where it's going to be a first and 25. For Beach and, and Tommy, you're trying to tell me they know what they're doing? No, I, I'm saying they got it right. Now, there's a difference in, in well, what I'm saying. No, but, he ain't finished yet. Here goes the ref back down to the 40, 45, comes back to the 50. Well, he's to the 45, and now what's he gonna do? Pick the ball up on the 40 and put it on the 44. Terry, is that right? Actually, Corlew was tackled on the 43, but I don't think they have any idea. So they guessed the 40 or 41. They only missed it by a couple of yards, and after about five minutes, that's not too bad. The, the spot is probably only about two yards from what it should be. And, man, these guys are making $50, and they're froze to death, and we are too. And they throw 76 out of the game. Well, it took, well, here we still got 6-17, and finally play starts again. Here we go. First down, I don't know what it is. Back to pass, reverse. Here comes Cantrell. Bang, he missed him. Here comes a clip, and man, there goes another flag. Man, did Moscadelli get clips in Lebanon. This game has really just been marred by flag. Moscadelli got clipped on the 41 I think they call clipping. I'll have to wait and see. Now we're going to have a, another one of them long discussions. Bruce, Tony Cantrell came awfully.